short-term versus long-term, there's often considerations as to um, what the short-term targets are in relation to the long-term vision. So we are typically investing behind a long-term vision, but one potential issue that arises on that path is actually uh, an understanding of what might occur on the way to reach that long-term vision. Um, and there can be volatility on the way, or actually there can be significant investment in cost, which changes the plan. What we've found is the best way to overcome this is the clear setting of near-term goals and milestones in a regular pattern, which means that everyone is brought along the journey and brought up to date, and we can reassess the long-term vision at each gating post. A common short-term versus long-term debate is that often arises in the early years of a partnership is the investment in people and infrastructure. In the short term, investment in people and infrastructure can limit profit. Um, but actually, done in the right way, in the medium to long term, this creates a business of higher quality and also promotes greater earnings growth. EBITDA growth is, is obviously an important contributor to value creation, but it isn't the be all and end all. The quality of earnings, or the, if you can evidence the sustainability of your growth, is a key driver to multiple and exit. Buyers will typically pay a premium multiple if they perceive growth achieved to be sustainable and actually see a lot of headroom for further growth thereafter.